winner by unanimous decision and still WBC lightweight champion of the world, Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson just had his pro bout with Artem Harut Union, and the way this fight played out is definitely not something you can ignore. Shakur Stevenson was frustrated that he didn't manage to stop Artem Harut Union on Saturday night. However, he delivered a boxing masterclass, cruising to a unanimous decision victory at the Prudential Center in his hometown of Newark, New Jersey. Oh, I, I did everything I could to get him out of there, too. Were you frustrated that you couldn't get him out of there? Yes, I was. <laughs> but I got, I got to cut off the ring a little bit more. Um, I send him one way, then he'll go the other way. So uh, I'm going to go back in the gym and work on cutting off the ring. But there's a lot more to this story than it's letting on. Yes, Artem was seen running away from Shakur for most of the fight. And you can't blame Shakur for taking this fight to the final bell, because it's hard to knock someone out who doesn't even want to fight back. But there's a huge reason why Artem was running away from Shakur in the ring. Buckle up, guys, because this is about to knock your socks right off your feet. Ryan was one superstar we saw this year going into a fight juiced up on illegal drugs. Well, Shakur was another. Yep, you heard that right. And Artem knew about this even before this bout took place. And this is not just a rumor. A video was leaked soon after the fight in which Artem confessed that Shakur cheated. The reason he kept his mouth shut before was because he was only in for the money. Just take a look at his demeanor during the press conference. This guy did not look like he was coming to fight. There was no energy. Obviously, Shakur wasn't about to let his demeanor give away any hint of a cheating plan. So he addressed the elephant in the room to dispel all suspicion. Chase is in Vegas, but um, fuck them. They don't really matter. Um, I really want to talk about him. Uh, he just said, he, I'm not falling for that. I'm not falling for that. You trying to uh, act real humble, um, try to butter me up, act like you ain't really coming here to win. Nah, you coming to win, bro. I, I already know. I'm on your ass. Though. No, he said he's, he said he's definitely coming to win. Artem, what? He, talk about, he, he don't sound as confident as I thought he would sound. So, you know, um, hopefully uh, he, he's coming to fight. That's all I ask. Are you coming to fight? Some people say. And even in the fight, Shakur was dominating for obvious reasons. But one thing to notice was the fact that none of the punches hurt Shakur at all. Like he seemed invincible for a moment. Now, if that's not sus, then I don't know what is. But hey, credit to Artem for doing a great job of keeping his distance, avoiding a knockout highlight reel, or worse, a trip to the hospital. There's a reason why taking such drugs is illegal. It's extremely dangerous for the opponent. However, it's been itching Shakur that he could not land a KO victory against a guy Tank's former opponent already defeated. Yep, even Frank Martin beat Artem, and we saw what Tank did to Frank Martin. It was a nighty night for him. This clearly puts Gervonta Davis levels above Shakur Stevenson. This is why after the fight, Shakur was more vocal about fighting Loma than Tank, because he knows fighting Tank is a one-way ticket to retirement. Somebody watching that. Oh, no. happened? People walked out. I don't know about well, that. it's his last fight with top rank, so good riddance. But he just fought a guy that had only seven KOs. And like, what was it, 12 and one? Well, what was it? His record. Nobody knows. Come on, guys. Don't don't come at me. Come on. I've done my work. Two time. Hold up. Two time linear world champion. We've done our job. Yeah. Do what uh, they give me. Two million dollars. That's where his value is at. My value should be uh, on the opposite end. But hey, he got a great management team. They know how to move him. For me though, I'm getting a. Uh, how can I say? I'm like a Burberry or Gucci or Italian clothing, you know? But they pay me great value, so. Loma versus Shakur would be an exciting fight, especially if Shakur doesn't resort to the same cheating tactics he tried against Artem, which failed miserably. There was no need for Shakur to be on meds. 
The fight could have ended with a KO if Shakur had entered the ring clean, as Artem wouldn't have spent all 12 rounds playing Tom and Jerry trying not to get hit. Now let's take a look at what the boxing pros and the fans are making of this fight. Teofimo Lopez watched the fight live from the stands and couldn't be more bored with it. He believes he's a bigger draw than Shakur, and truth be told, I'd rather see Teofimo's fights than Shakur's, because his are actually fun to watch. Hey, Tank Davis, I want to fight the guys that's going to come to try to fight me, to try to win, to make sure they got stuff to lose too, just like me. Um, I got that one to just come here and just be a part of the show. Can you send a message to Tank Davis? Uh, get ready. Again? Let's say something? This one, we got it, that's this one. Message. That's the message. That's, that's the message. That's the message. Tell him fight me. All right, well. You think he's you though? You, you think Loma don't, don't want to fight you? I mean, would he, wouldn't that be a, a fun fight? Wouldn't that be somebody that come in there that try to fight, want to win? Yeah. It's a fun fight. It's a fun fight to make. Uh, it's technically good. There's a lot of people probably right now like, well, we can't go beat him. He didn't stop this guy. So a lot of people probably won't even believe me. So why not make the fight? After watching Shakur take on Artem, Tim Bradley believes that the only guy who can beat Shakur and give him his first loss is Tank. Gervonta Davis has that one-punch power that can take out anyone. The only guy, the, the only guy that I think that can give Shakur a run for his money is, is Tank. The only guy, man. You know, because his IQ is right there with him, and he got that power, that, that one-punch power to end the fight. If he catch fucking Shakur, bro, Shakur ain't never been hit. But if he catches him, bro, it could be, it could be it. You know what I mean? He's one of the best finishers in the game. Oh, I, I, I so, that's a fight. I gotta have but, it. Gotta have but, it. Shakur, but look, but Shakur is going to make sure that don't happen. And that's the concentration that he has. He's going to have the concentration all night. And he's going to take limited chances. It's going to be a boring-ass fight, but Shakur should be able to pick it off. Yeah. And, and if Tank starts to rush in and start, you know, get ahead of him, Shakur going to pick him up. But, again, Tank, they got that timing. He got every punch in the arsenal, bro. I mean, it's going to be a difficult fight for Shakur, but I still think Shakur can hit him. But I, I don't care. Yeah, his performance was a performance tonight. It is what it is. He did what he had to do against this dude. You know? Ryan Garcia was anything but impressed with the fight. Just take a look at what he tweeted on X. Ryan just tweeted again, calling out how boring Shakur's fight was. Shakur might not have put Artem to sleep, but he sure managed to put everyone watching to sleep with how dull the fight was. Keyshawn Davis kept it simple with his reaction and said, Shakur did what he was supposed to do. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I was expecting nothing less than a knockout from Shakur. Yo, Key, okay, Kevin, fight hype. Any thoughts on that fight? On Shakur fight? Yeah. He did what he was supposed to do. No doubt, no doubt. Yo, one other question. Shakur Stevenson just posted a tweet for everyone criticizing his fight with Artem. Shakur is always preaching that he's better than Tank, but this fight proved otherwise. If Gervonta Davis can knock Frank Martin out, then Shakur should be able to do the same with Artem, but he didn't. Gervonta Davis is really at the top of the food chain. That video of Floyd saying, Shakur is the best hit is different now. Cause let's be real, Shakur is not on Gervonta's level. I mean, this guy needed to cheat to put on an average performance against someone like Artem. Floyd, who, when we, when you think about the fighters who are fighting now, can you give me your your one, two, three, four, and five when it comes to the the lightweight? Who you would put where? As of right now, the two guys, the biggest puncher, I feel at at the one thirty five would probably be Javante Tank Davis, mm -hmm. but the most skillful fighter skillful fighter at 135 will be hands down Shakur Stevens what is it about him because I know you have a lot of good um attributes but do you think he has enough power to sustain well it's all it's really all about skills Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher but he was I mean very exciting very tough and he fought everybody Shakur is trying to do the same thing he want to fight the best they got out there. I believe his contract is coming to an end, so hopefully we can come together and I can take him to that next level. No offense to you, Floyd, but Shakur is not the best at 135. Now, even the fans took a few digs at Shakur and you can't blame them, can you? One of the fans replied to Shakur's tweet saying, congrats on the win, but you're not aggressive, bro. You haven't tested yourself yet. You keep fighting fighters with no big names. If Shakur wants to prove himself as a legit threat, 
he's got to fight guys like Tank, Loma, or even Teofimo, who's firing shots at Shakur. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.